let's end on this topic right here. I think a little bit of a sad topic. TikToker Anthony. Please don't show me yawning when you started talking about this topic. <laughs> Why did you just turn away? Because you said it was a sad topic, and I immediately I was like, oh, <laughs> "Fucking look at me like you fucking dickhead." Like Wendy Williams. Up Make sure here. y'all let him know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> TikToker Anthony Barajas dies on life support at 19 after fatal theater shooting. Uh, t- and TikToker Anthony Barajas has died a few days after being shot at a movie theater and having his date killed in front of him as well. What? what? I didn't know that. It's a double wow, homicide. I didn't know that. I kind of want. I don't want to talk about this now. Ooh. Wow. The social media influencer passed away Saturday morning in a hospital where he'd been on life support since Monday when mm. he was shot in the eye by whom authorities suspect was mm. someone named Joseph Jimenez, who's facing multiple charges over this. Uh, Anthony's date, 18-year-old Riley Goodrich, was shot in the head too. Wow. And dies instantly. The shooting happened at a theater in Corona, California, and cops says say it appears unprovoked with the suspect seeming to have no connection to either Anthony or Riley. Really? It just happenstance like that? I think it's Riley. Riley? Mm-hmm. Did I say Riley? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Riley. Definitely no A in there. Uh, Jimenez was facing a murder count, an attempted murder count and robbery. Uh, this after police say he actually stole Riley's wallet after gunning her down. Amid Anthony's death, the charges are sure to be updated to include two counts of murder. And this is him, his face right here. Riley's father detailed the story that led up to the date. Apparently, his kid had met the TikToker over 4th of July weekend and after warming up to him, said she seemed happy for the date and got herself all dolled up to go out. Anthony was just 19. Okay, that's the end of the video. Wow, I was not... That that was a little too heavy. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, when did it happen? Because I, I, I feel like it's so recent that there's no motive, there's no nothing. I mean, we have no idea like what these... These kids were doing in high school. For all you know, that guy, Joseph, was just like a super just jealous dude. Just roll down. Scroll down. What do you mean scroll down? I'm sure they put it in an article. Well, I, didn't, I read the whole article. It, it, I don't remember it saying where specifically. It says Corona, California, but he didn't mention like how long right. ago it happened. Right, right. I don't remember. Oh, it said the 31st. So it was about, what, nine days ago? Ten days ago? I'm talking about this article. I think this article was written on 31st. Oh, the actual like shooting itself then was a different let me, let me time. Find out when you shoot it. Let me see if I can find some more information. Oh, here's some more information. If it would load, the suspect in the killing of TikToker star Anthony Bahadas. Am I saying that right? Bahadas said that voices led to the unprovoked shooting. Uh, it's Barajas. Barajas. Thank you, sir. I don't. I'll skip the bullet points. Just go straight into the article. The suspect in the movie theater killing of TikToker Anthony Barajas and Riley Goodrich told the Riverside Press Enterprise that voices led to the shooting. Barajas, a tics, uh, TikTok star who nearly had nearly one. There, I actually want to know how many one million followers on the platform. His account appears to have since been deleted. Died of his injuries after a July six movie theater. So it was on July six. So yeah, you're right. It was like about five nine days. Five days exactly, actually. Before the art, that original article was written, that'd be red. Um, shooting also left. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're watching the Forever Purge. Wow, the fucked up. See how ironic. Sad. Do that. I wonder if Wendy Williams sad. covered this one. Wow. Ah. Oh. You're right. I really want to know. There's this can't just be like he just chose that. So unfortunate, bro. Ah, appears to be random and unprovoked. How old is the uh, whatever guy Jimenez? He's twenty. This is right there. It's it's a, where is it? Twenty year old Jimenez on July twenty seven. The connection with the incident. So, he's already, like, two years older than them. He's probably out of high school, so he probably doesn't, you know, interact with them regularly. I think he just went to go see The Purge, got it in him, and then was like, I'm going to do it, and then just chose this unfortunate was, couple. Was it before or after? Because that actually might be an interesting point, especially if he was hearing voices. I mean, what, yeah, what, if, what if he was in the, the movie and saying? he was watching it or something like that, or unless he was, like, hanging out, stalking people at the, the theater. Like, there's a lot of stuff I'm sure the investigators are taking into account.
I'm curious. Eminem told the Press Enterprise that he had been diagnosed with schizophrenia approximately eight months ago and had been taking medication, but stopped after he ran out of pills and didn't refill his prescription. He said that the theme of The Forever Purge, a film that centers around a night of legal crime and violence, did not influence the incident. I don't know about that one. Uh, he offers condolences. I wish I didn't do it. But you did it. Is it wrong that I have problem accepting, like, having sympathy for him? Like, he's sitting there asking, like, you, I guess, trying to say, like, he's acknowledging he did wrong, he wish he didn't do it, but it's kind of like, ah. and he has, he's diagnosed with schizophrenia and all that's like, a mental issue part, but it's like. But he made the, see, the thing with stuff like that is he made the decision not to refill his prescription. I mean, I don't think it's wrong, dude, it. like, you're. You're upset. Like it's a natural reaction. This permanent did some. This person did permanent damage. And yeah, it's irreparable. Yeah. It, it's just difficult to. To what's the word to process? Because it's like they have a, a mental issue, but it's still like, dude, like, they, they went crazy. Like, I don't know, man. It, it's difficult because it's like, people are willing uh, this is a touchy sub, this is a touchy road but it's just like people put down dogs when they do stuff like this and now and when you escalate it to like a human being like it's it's just as it's a lot of the same feelings and it's just like intense but it's just like you obviously understand it's a human being and so the um, yeah the, the difficulty of the situation is um, it's a lot they had to be like Bad. Like I know when he saw the the girl get shot, he had to be baffled. Like, like what? What's going on? Like, I guess the reason why I, it's not that I'm qu- like, it's just because of the fact that he shot. I'm assuming the girl first, mm-hmm. and then the guy. Mm-hmm. Like, there's it's a, a a a continuation of choices that it's hard for me to think that there should have been a moment for like. And they were together. Uh, it's just like why? I don't know. Like why stop? At you know what I'm saying? Like. Mm-hmm. I don't know. know. That's heavy. Condolences. Condolences. Yeah, I don't even know what more to say. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that freaking heavy. Wow. Yeah, dude. I honestly think this guy went to go watch that movie, and then when he got out, he heard the voices saying, do it, do it. You can do it, too. You can do it, too. You just saw people do it, and then he fucking did it. Dude, um, I just... I, I, honestly, I was going to bring that point up also, because that's why I was curious. Was this before or after the movie? And then... I wonder if he admitted or revealed what exactly the voices were saying. Because that'd be my question: What were the voices saying? If you're going to blame the voices, what were the voices telling you to do? And then sitting there saying it wasn't influenced by the movie. It's like I don't know, bro. Was it before or after the movie? Because if you got voices outside, outside factors influence. Okay, I have, a, I, have an, I, have an, I have an opinion. People with diagnosed mental disorders should not be allowed to watch movies like that. Certain with certain uh, suggestive. Uh, suggestive violence so i believe people with mental disorders diagnosed mental disorders should have a a not a symbol or anything but something on you the id away a degree with their freedoms to simplify no, 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 in a way no, 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 no not to be political but, but something I mean. on their id that literally like a child who can't oh, watch okay. it you know what i'm saying so they would have to either purchase the ticket with somebody a guardian or like how you would a kid for that same type of movie so that way, at least if he was there with somebody, like, first off, after the, the the Batman shooting, how did he get his gun inside of the movie theater? The gun, the middle of the movie theater should have had metal detectors. That's one. So they have a lawsuit on their hands. Two, it just, if you put something on the ID, I feel like it, it's at least a, a way to, okay, Maybe schizophrenic shouldn't be watching The Purge. <laughs> you say it, and it sounds like the most <laughs> obvious fucking thing in the world. <laughs> I That's why I laughed. I was like, no, God damn it. <laughs> I'm right there with you. You're right. It, it, he says it. And it's like, that should be the most obvious thing in the world. But then it goes back to a sentiment, which is like, man, but I. And once diagnosed, they should be forced to, uh, not forced, but their ID should, they have, yeah, forced. You should be forced that your ID should immediately expire. 
and be forced to get new identification because then the onus is on you or whoever you have as guardian as soon as you're diagnosed. You know what I'm saying? There needs to be some some person without mental disorder or known mental disorder to bear some of the the because these people don't just live on their own and all that type of stuff. And if they do, there's it's a risk. It's a risk. And if they are living on their own, they are able to maintain all these type of things. Then regardless of what mental disorder they have, they're making a decision because they made all the decisions to pay their bills. They made all the decisions to to work, to earn the the, the, the bill money, to survive. Have to survive. Like they're doing a lot of sane and making a lot of sane decisions. So if they're that if they're self sustainable, then boom. But other than that, like I feel like there should be some type of identification. Like everybody doesn't have the same class license. It's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? If you have a uh, vision impairment, mm-hmm. they ask you and it's placed on your ID. Like that's you know honestly what I'm the strongest argument is you do there is a vision impairment on the ID. Why isn't there a mental impairment on the ID? ID, boom. That that's not valid. I would say that makes the argument more valid. Yeah, that makes sense to me actually. Just to play devil's advocate, I think the hard part would be that like it's a lot it seems a bit more ambiguous to diagnose. And people would probably push back with like the whole medical um, confidentiality, like because would that also influence people not wanting to get diagnosed? Then going to doctors to get help to get diagnosed, because once you get diagnosed, suddenly you're at the fear of my ID, the what my ability to interact with society becomes hindered. You start yeah. you start getting. Um, but I mean, I think dissuaded. that's I think that's based on the diagnosis. If it's a violent diagnosis versus a non-violent diagnosis, like. If it's things that you know, like schizophrenia, yeah, well, schizophrenia like, can be non. Like, it, it can, it can. But you know what I'm saying? Bad. That's up to the doctor to. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it feels like this is a person who. So it's up to the doctor to make the, 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 the like, exactly the point where I have to. That's why I said if they're this. self-sustainable, it's different. But if they're not, then the, it, there should be some type of warning he could for have the been public. So sustainable, and then suddenly up he's until that happened. moment. Yeah, exactly. So Yo, you made it to the end. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Fake deep thinking. Uh, if you like the show, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and to share. We really appreciate everything and appreciate you. So take it easy. Peace. Peace. Have a good day.